they are seeing futures that they want to avoid. Uh, there's a, another French philosopher, uh, Alan Finkel Kraut, who recently said in an interview something I was very struck by. He said, we in France used to think that our, what we had was worth taking around and giving to the rest of the world. And then we retreated from that idea. And he said, now we're in a position of thinking, can we at least still have it for ourselves? Um, and I was struck by that because, again, it, it might be a thing of, you know, depending where you are and what you've seen, but I, I, given some of the things that France has gone through in recent years, some of which I write about in the book, you know, multiple really terrible, terrible terrorist attacks and assassinations and so on, I, I, I can see why they are getting nervous and wanting to address some very fundamental principles. You know, is what we have in the secular French state, which allows for religion, but you know, now is dealing with new problems, is it, is it all vulnerable? And I know a lot of people who feel it is. And I suppose another thing, I mean, I spend a lot of my life as a journalist traveling, uh, not just you know, across this country and North America and across all of Europe, but uh, the Middle East, the Far East, and mm -hmm. Africa, and so on. And, there is, an in, there is a definite feeling you get in certain places of, well, uh, I, I don't want to force my own uh, view or my own society on this, but this is very different. And it reminds you, therefore, that what you have is unusual. Um, and I suppose that at different times, people become more aware of how, uh, I'll be careful how he says, but how lucky we may be in this country and in the country I'm from, for instance, that, that we're even within this discussion and freely able to have it and so on, and that some things down the road might, might stop that being the case. So I think that there are moments when societies become kind of febrile like that. Uh, let me give an example. I mean, if any of you have ever been mugged or seen something terrible on the street... You know, we're in New York. So... <laughs> Um, it, it, it changes the way you look at people for quite some time afterwards, and maybe forever. Yes. Uh, if you've seen anything really brutal uh, in the middle of a sophisticated, cultivated place, it, it will fundamentally change the way you, you, you look at everything afterwards and the way you look at people. And, you know, this is the case with uh, conflict zones, war zones I've been in. You know, you... you it's not just that you come back from those places thinking, my God, I've got an idea of how lucky we are to have this settlement we have, but also why people who are from such places have an ex... Well, but at least we have, a, have one less layer of skin than everyone else and feel certain things early. And, um, and that's the case in certain countries in, in the West at the moment, and that's partly what this book is about, that certain countries, France being one, are really reevaluating some of this because they are, they are seeing futures that they want to avoid. 